My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Good morning and welcome to another Positano Diaries and welcome to another hike somewhere along the Amalfi Coast. This is the third hike that I'm doing with Alessandro, Zia Lucy, Cassandra. Today Linda is joining us and uh, I'm not sure where we're going. I think we're going up above Scala. Uh, we'll see when we get there because it's a little bit cloudy on the top of the mountains and we don't want to go anywhere where there won't be a view. On WhatsApp, we have a little group now. It's our hiking group and we call ourselves the Beauty Seekers. So maybe that should be the name of these videos, the Beauty Seekers, episode three. We have another guest with us today. Holly is joining us for this hike. We think it is pretty safe for her. There might be an encounter with some rather large sheepdogs at some point, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there won't be. Lucy's here and we have a special guest today I will introduce you to in a minute. <laughs> Hi! This is Linda, she's coming with us today. Hello! <laughs> Alessandro and Lucy again and this is Lucio, our special guest. <laughs> Of course, before we start, everybody wants a coffee, so we're just going to stop off at this little bar in Scala. We've decided what we're going to do. Come on, Lee. We're going to drive up a little bit further up the mountain and go up to the castle above Scala. Um, I'm going to go with Alessandro on the scooter and the others are going to go in the car. So we will see you up there. Christmas tree. There's always somebody breaking your balls. <laughs> Holly, do you want a drink? In the past, the women used to come here in this place called the lavatoria. It's to wash clothes. Huh? And uh, it's close by the natural spring, so where there was a little bit of water, a fountain or waterfall or a natural spring, uh, women used to create this uh, lavatorio for washing clothes and they would come here almost every day to wash their clothes before going home. There's Ravello over there. And you can see over the top of Ravello towards Minori, Maori. Somebody's old tomato patch and two big pumpkins growing on the roof there. I'm huffing and puffing a bit because we just climbed a whole ton of stairs and we're talking haven't sort of like stopped for a breath of air. And another reason that I am panting is there are a lot of steps here. And there are a lot more to do. And now we're going to take these old stairs here. Marijuana, not marijuana. This is the question. Hemp. Hemp. This is hemp. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people confuse it with the marijuana. Yeah. It's of the same family, but uh, this one uh, doesn't have the THC, unfortunately. Does it have a smell? No. No, not a lot. But uh, hemp is very good, even if you uh, buy the oil, uh, the hemp oil. The hemp oil is very good for eating. Uh, it contains lots of antioxidants. Yeah. 
And uh, during Middle Ages, we used to make socks or uh, uh, other fabrics with the hands. Yeah, of course. Sails for the yeah. boats. It was very popular in Positano. There were uh, entire families in uh, Giacomo's building in the uh, Palazzo San Giacomo. The owners of Palazzo San Giacomo were uh, tailors ah. and they used to make fabrics with the hemp and they used to sell them all over. Okay. It's a very luscious. No, 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 it's not We are still walking up. I think we've all got our second breath now, so we're managing it much better. It's getting a little bit misty up here. It looks very magical. And everybody is loving Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived at this beautiful panoramic point here with the little benches made from packing cases and the view <laughs> unfortunately has gone. I'm gonna try yeah they use the word trekking but hey I mean it's more <laughs> No, but also because there are lots of problems with the tour guides. Muddy face. Muddy face. That's Italy or We've just climbed up to this incredible little grassy patch, surrounded by oak trees. No, chestnut trees. What am I talking about? And we're still climbing up. We are now free climbing up this <laughs> ridiculously rocky patch of mountain here. So it's absolutely beautiful up here, but I'm um, very, very humid because of the cloud cover. And uh, I feel like I'm in the highlands of Scotland. Not that I've ever been there, so I might be completely wrong, but I think this is what I imagine it would look like. Alessandra is going off to check whether there's a better pathway over there. Because if not... I did it once. We have to climb up through here. Yeah, I prefer that one because it's more comfortable. Otherwise, this one is very steep. Oh. It depends if you like to do a good workout or not. <laughs> hmm. We're going to do that one instead. I can hear goat bells. There must be a whole herd of them somewhere around here. We can just about see the walls of the castle rising through the mist now. We seem to be walking on the edge of an abyss. I have no idea what is actually down there. Hopefully the clouds will open up at some point and we'll be able to see. But it's clearer up there now. Are you ready to become the next Duchess of Amalfi? We've been waiting for you for centuries. Let the game begin. <laughs> and I've just spotted Lucia up, up there, playing it cool on the wall. Duchessa <laughs> Nicoletta. Welcome back to your home. <laughs> So after two hours of hiking uphill, we have arrived at the ruins of the castle of Scala. I'm just walking through the doorway and we're inside.
Are we gonna have a picnic here? Yeah, yeah. I got food. Yeah. So we are at the Castrum Scale Maioris, which is uh, the, the highest castle of the old uh, castles of the Amalfi Republic. And there is a very interesting curiosity is that this castle has clear um, Byzantine influences. In fact, I can show you a picture of a castle in uh, Ankara in Turkey, and it's exactly the same, with the same shape. And uh, this one, together with another castle in Praiano, might have clear Byzantine influences. So it's really the same, and it tells you how this uh, dukedom, this Republic of Amafi, had a very close relationship with the Orient, the Oriental Mediterranean Sea. Okay. And, um, How old is it? Well, it dates to the 10th century, 10th, 11th century, more or less. And uh, of course, it is the highest, but also the, the, the most important uh, aim of this castle was to uh, look at the other towers located on the other side of the valleys, like Poggerola, and uh, at the same time to look at the... Um, at, um, at the, uh, the valley. At the valley, yeah, exactly. The, the the trails that passed the mountains from Tramonti. Okay. So it was very strategic. Right. Was uh, controlling all the um, the lands uh, belonging to the Amalfitan Republic, because wow. the Amalfitan Republic was really powerful, but in danger sometimes, especially on these sides of the coastal line, because on this side uh, goes to the mountain and it belonged to the Duchy of Sorrento and the Duchy of Naples. So they needed to be careful, uh, and with these castles and other castles, they used to uh, check with the sentinels, and they used to communicate each other, or like uh, in the coastal line, or with the smoke sing uh, signals, or with the bells. So were there walls ah. all the way around? Because there's this big uh, rock in the middle. There I were walls expect. in some parts. So walls this here. castle was full of walls. This was uh, all the castle. So it went and all even inside. So now we see rocks and also up there. Oh, there's was, more over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And also there is a tower. There is another oh, okay. tower in ruins. <laughs> okay. Which I don't know if we can pass by there now. So Scarlet's down there. Where's the sea? That way. This way. That's <laughs> <way. laughs> <laughs> We need to... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a goat. Yeah. He's running up the mountain. Watch <laughs> it. He, he always run. <laughs> he's still running. <laughs> what he's doing? Running up. <laughs> Let's go up and find out. You can't see anything now, but there is the Valley of the Paper Mills. Thank you for the for this. I made some uh, kale chips. Who wants it? We assaggiare Lucio. No, no, grazie. Qualcuno vuole assaggiare i kale chips? Where do you get kale around here? Grow it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't remember seeing kale anywhere. <laughs> Slowly. Uh, okay. Eggy hands for the rest of the day. <laughs> And we are going to make our way back down again, more or less the way we came. After our little picnic, everybody had something different. I think I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this. Oh, bloody hell, that one moved. <laughs> There's a big herd of sheep over there. And we are back in the chestnut forest where it's all mysterious and wintry. Well, somewhere to shelter out if it's raining, I suppose. Got a couple of chairs. One point there was something to drink. Got a window. Even a spare jumper. They are running back down because Cassandra has a call, and we're just going to take it a bit more slowly. We've arrived back at the little bench. I can't remember whether there was a view down there earlier or not. And you can just see the Cathedral of Scala, where we've got to get back down to. I just stopped for a wee al fresco and my lovely loyal dog has completely abandoned me and gone off with the others. We're just starting to come back down into civilization, starting to see a few fences, there's a few vineyards below me, 
lovely orange and red leaves. This is certainly a workout for your knees coming down this one. We are back in civilization. Get this entrance to this house. Well, we're not sure if it's a house or a restaurant actually. It's funny when you get towards the end of a hike, you're so exhausted by the whole thing that I always forget to film and end up not finishing the video. But I'm determined to keep going for the rest of the day. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Now, here we're coming down to this place that has the most amazing view, but a whole ton of cables right in the middle of the view, ruining it. What a shame. Back in civilization, masks back on. We have arrived back at the car and we'll make our way down to Atalani. We've stopped in Atalani because we've got to drop Linda off here but we've actually decided to get out of the car and go and visit the cemetery of Amalfi because the views from there are beautiful. And the cemetery of Amalfi has an elevator to get to it so we're going back into the big tunnel. Oh, I don't know. I used to um, uh, go up here by, by the stairs because it's the best view from Amalfi. Yeah, now yes. with the elevator it's much better. <laughs> and uh, we generally take the elevator up and then we walk down to the small street of Amalfi. And this is the view from outside the elevator. Wow. Saranno le reliquie di Sant'Andrea, le ossa di Sant'Andrea che costruivano la cattedrale di qua. And it may seem silly, but we're just going to walk back down into Atrani now and stop off at a bar and have a quick drink. I think they want coffee. So we didn't. So we didn't actually go to the cemetery. We're right below it though. Let me just show you quickly where it is. This is the cemetery of Amalfi, right up here. There is the elevator that arrives at it. We are above a lot of orange and lemon groves. They're all covered up with netting for the winter. We can walk all the way around to Atarani from here. How's this? How's this side? Oh, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing under there? Are you stuck? <laughs> Down there, that is the car park where we have left the car. So we're now just passing over above it and going back along the pathway towards the Trani where we're going to stop for a drink. We're back down in the Trani and we are at Linda's house. This is her incredible roof terrace. And this is the incredible view she has. This house is unbelievable. It's a 360 view. You can see it all the way up to where we've come from. I think we're going to sit down and relax for a while. 